Turning Point Rehab Center, I'm trying to get myself sober. And, uh, I don't know if any of you remember the series of Unfortunate Events series by Lemony Snicket, but um, I read through that series and realized that a lot more unfortunate things have happened to a lot more unfortunate people. And so this poem is about the last several years of my life. I hope you enjoy it because I sure as fuck didn't. <laughs> Once there was a boy, about nine years old, whose heart would soon grow dead and cold. So I'll tell you the story, just how it went. The sort, this is the series of unfortunate events. His mother loved him, and he loved his mother. But he had to raise his two little brothers. But something he couldn't understand in his head. Why the house was full of boxes of Sudafed. Why was the house smoky, and why was mom mad? Why did his mother's room always smell bad? He would always ask her, and she'd always avoid it, until she got pissed, went into his room, and destroyed it. But then it finally happened, she almost beat him to death. She was in a rage because she was all out of meth. She said if he ran, he, she would take out her gun. So he snuck to the neighbors and called 911. He was placed in a, with a woman who, loved, who at first he loved dearly. But then he found out she hadn't loved him sincerely. She instead loved the money, which she got every week, making the boy so angry yet meek. So she held on to the boy, financially set, turning the boy into her little pet. So he came to find out that there was no love, and there was no help from a spirit above. So the less he was loved, and the more that he hated, the more time he spent with his friends getting faded. And as he grew up, and he kept getting wasted, the woman wasn't enough of a parent to face it. So she, so she wanted, but she wanted him good for her reputation. So her husband would beat him with very little patience. Then all of a sudden, the boy got much bigger. A thought popped into his head. Soon he would figure, if they could beat him, he could beat them as well. That idea got him a night in a holding cell. Then one day, the old man had died, but his best friend had decided to commit suicide. He was so happy, yet sad, he felt old. That's about the time that his heart went so cold. He lived with the woman, but still never heard her. But every night, he was dreaming about murder. He wanted her dead, and he knew that he could. But he knew that, and he knew there was only a matter of time before he would. So all he cared about was sex, cash, and drugs. He spent all the time smoking weed with the thugs. But after the fighting drugs and drinking the booze, the woman sent him away over a couple of tattoos. Now he's 16 and he's stuck in a place where maybe soon he'll be able to look himself in the face. The place is called rehab and let's hope he recovers. If not for himself, for his two little brothers. So that is his story. His time has been spent. That is the series of unfortunate events.